people do the strangest things. On ice. Set aside for future use. We've been working on this sales report for some time now. Don't you think we should take a break for some dinner? Now that you mention it, I am kind of hungry. Let's put the report on ice a while and grab a bite to eat. That's fine. I'd be happy to stop working on it and set it aside until we get some food. Great. Let's lock up and go. Shoot the breeze. Chat informally. What are you going to be doing this afternoon? Oh, I don't have anything in particular in mind. Why don't you come over to my place? We can listen to some records and shoot the breeze. That sounds okay to me. I'd like to relax listening to music and visit and chat informally until my folks get back from shopping. Bite the dust. Go down in defeat. Andy did exceptionally well in all of the track events, but he bit the dust in the high jump competition. Much to the disappointment of his fans, he went down in defeat, losing to a competitor from the visiting team. Bend over backwards. Try very hard. When Joan first started teaching, she was afraid that she would have a lot of trouble getting used to the kids and to the faculty. Her fears turned out to be unfounded, since everybody bent over backwards to help her. Everyone tried very hard to help her feel comfortable and adjust to the school. Hit the hay. Go to bed. Listen, Kim. We're going to be really busy with moving tomorrow, and we've got to get an early start. I guess you're right. We'll need all the rest we can get. What do you say we hit the hay now? Agreed. Let's go to bed and get a good night's sleep. It's going to be a long day. Cough up. Give unwillingly. Say, Greg. Did you finally get that computer that you wanted so much? Not yet. I needed to raise a couple of hundred dollars more. Is it going to take you a while to raise the money? It would have taken me forever, but Dad said he'd cough up the money I need since I'm going to be using the computer for my schoolwork. Maybe it was difficult for your dad to give you the money, but then he knows that it's for a good cause. Jump the gun. To be hasty. Denise was planning on telling her grandparents that the doctor said she was going to have twins, but when her dad found out, he jumped the gun and told them before Denise could say a word. He was so excited that he became hasty and revealed the news before Denise had a chance to tell them. Scratch someone's back. Return a favor. Hey B, I need some help stacking these boxes. Would you please give me a hand? Okay, and I need some help tidying up the house. How about you're helping me out after that? Okay, if you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. I know you don't like doing housework, but I'll help you with the boxes if you promise to return the favor. No problem. I'll even do the windows. Hit the ceiling. Become very angry. Don's father hit the ceiling when he was informed that his son had been detained by the police for disorderly conduct. He became violently angry since he had often warned his son not to keep company with that group of boys. Fork over. Hand over. Give. Hey, Dan. How come you're looking so sad? It's nothing really. I unexpectedly bumped into Ralph, and he asked me to fork over the ten bucks I owed him. Did he expect you to pay him back right then and there? Yes, he did. It was all the money I had, and I had to hand it over to him. Don't complain. After all, he did you a favor by lending it to you in the first place. Turn someone off. 
Disgust someone. How was your date with Marty last night? <laughs> well, it started off okay, but he really turned me off when we went for a snack after the movies. Did he say or do something to annoy you? Frankly, he disgusted me when he tried to talk with his mouth full. I don't blame you. That would have really bothered me, too. Go fly a kite. Go away. For the past three hours, Jerry had been trying to convince Linda to go to the art exhibition with him. She had been refusing all along, and finally, in desperation, she told him, Go fly a kite! Jerry didn't like to be told to go away in such a forceful manner. Nevertheless, he finally stopped trying to get Linda to attend the exhibition. Kick the bucket. Die. It's been said that the old man knew of a buried treasure, but he kicked the bucket before telling anyone where it was. If the treasure exists, the old man unfortunately took the secret of its location with him when he died. Raise a stink. Protest strongly. Listen. Don't try to use any of your sister's clothes without asking her first. She's liable to raise a stink if she finds something missing. I'm sure that there will be no problem. She's borrowed some of my things before, and I've never said anything. I really doubt that she will protest very strongly. <laughs> 